So another common pattern that you'll encounter in design work is the classic herringbone design. So I've set up a material here called herring and again the name doesn't matter but I've just called it that. I go into the script and I'm going to delete all of this so I've got nothing there at all. And then I just put in the word herring and you can put in the sizes. So I'm going to put in a metric size of one meter by 0.25. I press F5 for the build button and straight away you've got the herringbone laid out there. Now um, this is something that you could easily have done with the old system, the designer, or just set up a, um, a herringbone design. But there are a couple of things with this which you can do which you couldn't do before. Um, first of all, in the old system, the herringbone, the, the width and the length had to be a ratio of each other. So if that was a, you know, this is a four to one or a five to one or a six to one. If you try to do it with a, let's say, a 2.3, it wouldn't work before you just couldn't get them to line up so we've solved that problem and if you do that now it locks together perfectly well again if you're going for imperial you could have uh, two foot by three inches again you get a different style of herringbone now there's a couple of other features in here which allow you to do some quite interesting things so I'm just going to go back to the four to one metric one so we, it's a bit clear on screen what we can see. And I'm going to apply a couple of colors to that. So I'm going to call them blue and green. So these two elements will be colored in blue and green. Now another thing that you quite often get, when you certainly when you come to colored herring bones like this, is that you'll get maybe two or three of them stacked together. So all you do there is you put how many sets of herring bones you want in afterwards. So we've got herring one by 0.25 and then we want three of them. Now when I press F5 you'll see that we've got the blue, the green, then there's a red, a red, a red and another red. So if I go in here and I put orange and yellow you'll see that if we if we look at this grid we've got blue, green, orange, yellow, and let's go in and put the last two in, call them uh, grey and white. So in two lines of tile script, you've managed to put in a set of three herring bones, colour them all in uh, using, and let's put, let's put in a, a strange repeat here, one that would never actually repeat fully into it. There's no problem there, it all works. Press OK, press OK, pop on the herring, and there it is. Now, a couple of other options in there. Let's just go and have a look at this. Um, this is just a long tile placed at 90 degrees to each other, classic stance. But if you put in the next option, so we've got that there are three of them, and then I can put in the next parameter is either 0, 1, or 2. If I put 1 in, you see what happens? We get a key square at one end. If I put that number to two, we get a key square at the other end. Then of course we need a few more um, colors. So let's go in and gentle. Okay, so I'm just putting in some more colors. Incidentally, this this symbol here, which I'm never quite sure what you call, but, but if you put that in, that means that this line continues on to the next one. So effectively what this is, is if you've got a great long line you've got to type in, you can just break it down into multiple lines there. Now, again, I'm just throwing these colours in on screen, but what would be, you know, if you're given a design to replicate um, from, from a designer, or a customer, what you'd have to do is sit down and work out exactly what you need to do. So I'm just throwing in some numbers here. Um, and this is just to show you how straightforward it is to put in fairly simple herring bones straight into Calidus and there's no restriction on ratios or anything like that. That'll work.